Hello friends, I'm Cleopatra from Lusaka for Metropolis TV. I'm in the streets of Lusaka today and I'm checking out women's hips and the bands. And I must say from what I've seen so far, I'm quite impressed. So it leaves me with a question, why is there so much emphasis on hips and uh, hip enlargements? Why do you have a lot of work in the country? Ah, the potential, guys. I'm going to the potential. They have a lot of work. No, I'm not going to be able to do this. But I'm going to be able to do this. 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 So I don't think even to get married. When I go, I come to Mungwala to talk to you. I need to get time to have money. I'm going to my post. So we come back to work as when I go, I'm not Mungwala. I come to my post. Eh, that's what that nice. We come, we come with that. We come nice. It's wonderful. But when I go, I come back. It's wonderful. You know, so we come back with that. For us, we have money. We have money. My name is Sisi. I'm 22 years of age. I'm at Lusaka Trade studying a business communication. I've had uh, issues uh, as a teenager, uh, issues with uh, hips. I thought they were not protruding enough to give me the, uh, to give me an attractive look. So I would always actually wear oversized uh, clothes or I'll put probably shorts inside so that they can protrude a little bit. Actually, a friend of mine uh, told me, actually, showed me a paper. Well, there was an advert uh, of a doctor who enlarges uh, hips. So I decided to go there. He's not really a doctor, but um, he's just a business person who enlarges hips. So that doesn't worry you that he's not a doctor? Not at all. As long as you can fix my problem, it doesn't. Today I'm going to see my doctor, the one I've been seeing for the past six months, uh, for hip enlargement. Usually it's not a very difficult procedure that I uh, actually have to undergo. Look, Kaputula, Kawanda is my name, Mr. Kaputula in short. I've got something for the women, that is uh, the hip boosters. Yeah, you know, as an African, African women yeah. always look at the back of the woman. You know, we are made with that S. Kambo Zola, Zola ni pa mahipsi exactly, this is just for the hips. So mkambo Zola mahipsi, dia mene ambo chua kula. Of course, paja pa mala, pakati paja pa pasala so chabi. So pa mala pa chepa, mahipsi dia mene ambo chua kula. Yeah. Mkubeni nga chema instructions. Yeah, you just follow the instructions, exactly, you just follow the instructions, and you see the results at the end of our... Usually it's not a very difficult procedure that I actually have to undergo. How was the massage? Ninyanyaga. When you go there, he's just lying on the bed. He actually put cream on your hips, does the massage. So, is that taking a double Depends. I don't say respond. Depending on your metabolism rate. But uh, it cannot take more than a month. Then after that, you're done. Okay. When we get our products, we are I'm assuring that there will be no any complication because there are no chemical added to this stuff. It is uh, natural herbs. That's why you see three quarters of the Chinese. You see the shapes of the Chinese and uh, the health of the Chinese. Yeah. Hip enlargement in Zambia is popular, especially for the past four or five years. Uh, especially to women, it's so popular. Back in the days, women usually had uh, big boobs and big bumps, but without a proper shape. But in this modern world, women would love to have uh, big boobs or sizely boobs, a bit of bumps and hips. And that will give you a nice shape, especially here. It will shape up to show an attractive look. Especially men actually get attracted to women who are like that. So this is why this is the reason why actually most women in Zambia would love to enlarge on their hips because it just gives a gorgeous look.
When we talk about hip enlargement, we have uh, different people. People, there are people with a uh, big back, but they have no hips. We have people with uh, big stomachs, but they have no hips. We receive different uh, kind of people. Three quarters of the clients that we have, most, let me just say most, maybe it can be one out of ten, uh, they always do these things uh, in privacy. Oh, I don't want my husband to know, I don't want my spouse to know, I just want to surprise him that I'm changing and there, you know. I was very impressed with the results because actually the doctor, after he explained to me, he, only, he told me it only takes 28 days to see the, the result of the hips. So you did of the see, treatment. Yeah, yeah. Did you see the, the results like after 28 days? Oh yeah, I did. How, how did that make you feel? <laughs> I, I was so excited. <laughs> so excited. Yeah. Uh, what drives me to continue with the same business? It's uh, to, of course to make an African woman look good. To make a lady look as a lady, yeah. We want to help an African woman. In Zambia, traditionally, it's, it's not really allowed to start changing your body shape. Even as a Christian, it's not really allowed. But I mean, who cares? If you want to look gorgeous, attractive, just have to do it. I mean, for guys, for men to approach you, they have to see something attractive, and your body has to say something. I think for me, people should be able to do what they need to do in order to feel confident in the body they're in, to enhance their self-esteem, and generally be comfortable with life. After all, to some people, body modification, or whatever you might call it, is just as simple as having a haircut. 